Hello and welcome to the Cisco Hyperflex 4.5 with InterSight video series. In this video, we will examine a full stack upgrade of Cisco Hyperflex Edge from InterSight. The Cisco Hyperflex Edge solution comprises of three software components on each individual server, VMware ESXi hypervisor, Cisco UCS server firmware, and Cisco Hyperflex data platform storage software. Cisco goes through an extensive process of testing and validating software combinations to assure systems have good stability and performance. For that reason, always consider installing and upgrading to recommended releases. The Cisco Hyperflex software model has two types of releases, long-lived and feature. Each release type has its own content scope and release frequency. Both types are time-based and will also have patches being released at a specified cadence. The Cisco Hyperflex software long-lived release will be a stable release with a longer life cycle of 30 months. As the long-lived release is targeted for stability, no new major features will be included during its life cycle. Customers that require a release that will be supported for a longer period of time are encouraged to be on the long-lived release. The long-lived release is signified by the third digit in the release version number. If this digit is greater than 1, then that software version is considered a long-lived release. The feature release will have the latest features, functionalities, and updates. The release lifecycle is 9 months, which is quite shorter than the one for the long-lived release. Customers looking to use the latest features and functionalities should move up to the version that has the content they need. So, how would you go about deciding which should be your targeted version of software? First, you would want to consult with the Cisco Hyperflex recommended software release and requirements guide. Not all cluster types have the same combination of recommended versions of software. For example, if we need a feature that was introduced in Hyperflex 4.5, we can go with HXDP 4.51A. This choice will now dictate the recommended version of server firmware, in this case, Cisco UCS 4.11H. And at the same time, we should also follow the recommended version of VMware ESXi. As you can see, 6.5 Update 3 and 6.7 Update 3 are the recommended versions. Before performing the actual upgrade from InterSight, we should first perform a health check of the cluster to see if we are good to proceed with the upgrade itself. Performing the health check is as simple as selecting the cluster you're interested in and letting the test run. How long it runs depends on the size, type, and health of your cluster. You can see that our cluster is healthy, and we are now ready to perform the upgrades. To start, we just need to select the cluster we want to upgrade and click Upgrade. Let's select the HXDP storage version we want to upgrade to. The hypervisor version. And the server firmware version. On the summary screen, you can see the current versions of software and the target versions of software. InterSight will perform a full stack upgrade of this Cisco Hyperflex Edge cluster. InterSight will first validate the upgrade and then perform the actual upgrades. How long this will take depends on the size of the cluster, which component you are upgrading, and the connection speed from our Hyperflex Edge cluster to InterSight. We will skip two hours into the upgrade. As you can see, the first out of two servers is now completely upgraded. By clicking View Execution Flow, we can investigate the details of what InterSight has done with the server. We will now skip to the end of the upgrade. You can see that the upgrade took a little more than three hours and that it was successful. Hypervisor, Firmware and Hyperflex Data Platform were upgraded in a rolling fashion that is, with guest virtual machines functioning throughout the upgrade. And that was done without any interference needed from the administrator. In summary, 
you can use Cisco Intersight to not only install and manage Cisco HyperFlex Edge, but also to perform full-stack upgrades.